Investments and securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. So what a move in the market, right? Uh, we were expecting this uh, move on the downside because market uh, on the April series alone from April 1st to April 15th, it has moved 15 points. I expected some correction and I was, I, I had so much of conviction that I didn't even square off my call position, which was a huge loss now. We have returned to profit, so our conviction worked to an extent. But uh, going forward, I don't see any movement on the upside because uh, markets are uh, kind of uh, bearish, and even global markets are bearish. As I talk to you, even FTSE, uh, in, uh, FTSE Dow Jones, uh, U.S. futures are all in the red. So we might see a little gap down tomorrow. So uh, till which extent we will see how much. Uh, uh, till what extent market nifty and bank nifty will go on the downside and on top of that uh, if you notice that the uh, futures index uh, sh short positions FIS institutions have increased the sh future short position and as I talked to you all US futures in fact uh, Dow Jones is down it is almost flat S&P, Nasdaq, uh, FTSE, everything is flat uh, and uh, there is no positive news in the market for uh, making any big move on the upside. So everything is flat. So that is good. As an option seller, I am sure you must have made money, right? Uh, today, India VIX also dropped by 1.15%. Uh, so you can assume there is not going to be any big downside or there is not going to be any ad, uh, uh, higher side. Market either is going to go on the up, uh, higher side or downside so market will consolidate with a negative bias now in terms of uh, nifty chart if you see today was the second attempt where nifty tried to close the gap of 10th march which was around uh, i've been telling this for a very long time 17500 and today's low was around 17610 uh, but uh, looking at SGX Nifty, SGX Nifty is almost down by uh, I think 5 or 10 points that we really don't know because uh, when our market closed, what we saw was uh, US future was high. It was uh, in fact Dow Jones was up by more than 175 points. But as I talked to you, US futures are down. It is down to 29 and also will uh, SGX Nifty be down. It is down by around 5 or 10 points. So that is in terms of bank nifty and uh, when it comes to bank nifty, uh, bank nifty is the one which was holding a nifty to an extent I can tell you if it was not bank nifty, maybe nifty would have touched 17,500 levels. Now bank nifty for bank nifty 41,500 level is a very crucial point. And that is why you can see a lot of people writing 41,500 put option. If you see here, 23.49 lakhs of uh, put options has been written at 41,500 and call 42,500 is having the highest call option. Uh, in fact, 44.36 lakh uh, call options are returned and 41,500 is, is uh, how much they have returned. Yeah, at around 41,500, I think around they have returned uh, 23.49 lakhs. So you can assume this expiry is going to expire between 42,500 and maybe 41,500. That is in terms of uh, bank nifty. And in terms of nifty, what we can see is huge calls being returned. Uh, huge calls are being returned. If you see here, 17,700 people are even writing 17,700. Uh, I think uh, lots of short straddle is being written at 17,700. Uh, 17,800 is having 1.12 crores of open interest, which means you can assume that 17,800 would be a strong uh, resistance on the higher side. Uh, at the same time, on the downside, people are even writing from from 17,700 all the way till 17,400 uh, calls are being returned but it is not uh, up to the mark no huge volume 18,000 18,000 is having also having highest open interest that is 1.11 crores of 
18,000 call option has been returned, which is trading at just 2.25 rupees. So people assume this is not going to, nothing is going to happen, or market may not touch 18,000. And uh, to some extent, it is right also. What is the good news there in the market for uh, market to reach 18,000? I don't think it is going to happen. Even 17,800 uh, crossing 17,800 is also uh, very remote. That is what I believe. that is my perspective that is my outlook so we'll see how things pan out in case the us futures are closing in the red today we might gap down and uh, this one thing i want to tell is that sjx nifty is not as reliable as we were thinking now if you see yesterday sjx nifty was pointing towards downside it was down by 50 or uh, 100 points but what i saw today was when the market pre market open i saw 17760 levels it was uh, gapping up around 100 points and at last Uh, it closed somewhere 60 70 points and once the market opened there was a big uh, red candle like what uh, happened yesterday so this is a new thing which is happening for last two or three trading session if you see here one big candle yesterday was worst today was better just uh, around 44 point look at the difference yesterday's candle oh my god just to 150 points in just 5 minutes and it tried to retrace around 1 o'clock after europe open that also gone and uh, somehow it resisted and somehow it managed to close above 17600 in fact if it was going below this low this low is very important 17500 17,580 levels, which was the low of yesterday. So tomorrow we will see if this low of 17,500 is going to sustain or not. And in Bank Nifty, uh, the I don't think so. This uh, 42,000 will be taken out because uh, for one other other reason, Bank Nifty is super uh, kind of bullish. I wouldn't say super bullish. It, it is kind of bullish. So in spite of all the bad news, in spite of all the negative. things in spite of uh, federal reserve telling that they, they might raise uh, 50 uh, basis points interest rate by 50 basis point and uh, when, um, it 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 comes to around 7.25% that is the highest since 2007 and still bank nifty wants to go up means uh, really our markets are uh, in a different world that is what i can say right so we'll see how things pan out hopefully market should uh, consolidate in the negative base that is what i have been saying for a very long time uh, us futures are uh, still uh, this thing uh, still flat and fii uh, future short position is at 85216 short contracts they have created not only that even dais have created short contracts and uh, total uh, 85216 this is lagging data of course yesterday's data and they have uh, still having 85216 short contracts and uh, in terms of fii data fii data if you see uh, fii is have sold for 8, 810 crores and dais have bought for 401 crores so this is how the markets are behaving uh, behi- behaving i feel that nifty might expire between 17500 to 17800 this expiry and bank nifty might expire between 41200 to 40 uh, sorry 41500 to 42500 so this is what i expect and uh, last but not the least uh, let me tell one more thing i'll share a detail of uh, one of our trade which is a long term trade which we have taken on the month of uh, Uh, april yeah first of april and uh, this strategy is in a profit of around 1.25 lakhs let me show you uh, it is in long term option so this trade june expiry we took june expiry in the month of uh, march so march april may june four months still now it has given a profit of around 1.26 lakhs right still now it has given a profit of how much 1.26 lakhs now why am i saying this is because 
we have a webinar where we are talking about long term options uh, coming sunday 10 am uh, recording is available if you want you can join the webinar for which the link is on the description below right now you can avoid the noises which you are experiencing in weekly option when it comes to long term options you don't have to keep on adjusting the positions the more premium you collect the better it is for you so if you want you can join the webinar uh, again link is on the description below i hope i have summarized thank you for watching take care bye